farmers that have undergone through a training on conservation farming or conservation agriculture should practice this kind of uh, tillage methodology. It's all about uh, not disturbing the whole piece of land, but only where you're going to need to plant the seed. At the same point where you're going to apply the nutrients. Basically, a farmer who goes into conservation farming should expect a good yield because it's something which is practical, it's something which is precise for them, and they will know what is required for them to have a certain yield. Then when we teach conservation farming, they'll have good results. Before, I was uh, plowing big field but the yield it was very small. But now when I follow the CFU method, I'm plowing small portion, but I'm getting more yield. Already I go plowed, already I'm reaping. I'm waiting for the rain to plant. The farmers who are practicing conservation farming, despite the climate change, to them they still get the crop because they do their land prep early, as I mentioned. Within that period when we have the dry spell, the plant in the farmer's field will be able to utilize the water in the basin or in the rip line. When I came here, I was doing the conversion of farming, but I was some four years now, that's when I started uh, practicing conservation farming. What I was seeing was pot holding, and pot holding is it's quite involving. You can't do a big field hectare. So that was the challenge. But with mechanization, you can do, you can do any, any hectare that you want. It really makes sense. Life becomes easier. Even farming itself becomes easier. Tanzania, Malawi, we have also have got Zimbabwe and other places far like Sudan, they've come to Zambia to learn about conservation farming. Why? Because of the results. Right now the head of state says we should all do conservation farming. It's being supported. Mm -hmm.